broadcast for shooters, hunters, and gun enthusiasts. This is the Firearms Radio Network. Hey guys, Ryan Cross with the Firearms Radio Network here today with Gunfighters Inc. Holsters here in Central Washington. And I want you to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Woody. I'm the general manager for Gunfighters. Uh, yeah, I've been here for a few years and just wanted to talk to you guys about some product and tell you about the company. So how did you guys get started making holsters? Well, basically the owner of the company, Adam, um, was getting into to, uh, to shooting and um, getting into handgun com combative training specifically and had watched the Magpul DVDs and seen Kydex holsters and became intrigued, had difficulty uh, finding a holster that he could get in a quick amount of time basically and uh, just started dinking around on his own. Uh, as a hobby and you know one thing led to another and basically that hobby grew into a, a business so that's where we're here now we started in 2011 and it's 2016 now and definitely selling a lot more holsters now than we did when we first started so yeah, yeah. Uh, so what was your your guys's flagship holster that you started with well we started with the ronin outside the waistband holster which uh, actually got one right here um, so the ronin basically uh, was designed to be an outside the waistband holster that was basically as concealable as an inside the waistband, but a lot more comfortable because you don't have a firearm shoved in your pants. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we've got a few things on it that we do a little bit different. We hand form our own belt loops, and then we also, on each individual holster, each holster has its own offset based on the size of the firearm, and that helps really pull the, um, the firearm into the body so it conceals well, but also is easily accessible if you need to draw it quickly. So, okay. Yep. And then uh, where do you take off from there? Uh, you know, the next product that we released uh, is probably a toss-up between our uh, double and single mag pouches for pistols and then also um, uh, our inside the waistband holsters. So we've got a, uh, we've got a double mag pouch here. Um, this is basically the same design as the Ronin, just for pistols. Uh, we also make a rifle mag pouch, and we've had several different design iterations and evolutions. In fact, uh, what we were known for originally, besides the Ronin, was Adam uh, had a YouTube channel, Gunfighters Inc., and he would... Uh, build kind of custom rifle mag pouches for people like HK G3s and AKs and some of that stuff. Where we don't do that stuff so much anymore, just because they end up being really time consuming. Um, but yeah, I mean the, the magazine pouches are something that we've done for a long time. Um, and then we're inside the waistband holsters, the the Wraith. Um, these these were something we started playing around with about three years ago, and uh, you know it's just a simple design. There's nothing crazy groundbreaking about it. It's just a nice concealable. Um, inside the waistband holster, nice low profile, easy to take on and off. Uh, most of the people who are working here carry with the race versus the Ronins just for convenience sake and all that, so, yeah. And then uh, what I've actually found and was most interested with and I talked about on the uh, Firearms Insider Gunna Gear Review podcast was your guys' Keen Eye holster. Yeah. Um, that was what first grabbed my attention. Why don't you tell the listeners about that? Well, so the, the Kenai holster, which we've got here on the mannequin, uh, basically um, Adam and I kind of put our heads together on the Kenai and said, hey, you know, he, he had done one chest holster quite a while ago for somebody just one off. And I was like, hey, Adam, you know, I think we really ought to pursue this. I think this could be a good product for a certain niche, you know, uh, especially people up here in the Northwest who are backpacking uh, or fishing, things like that, in wet environments. Um, so we played around with a bunch of designs. I think we went through about seven different prototypes before we kind of finalized on what we know as the Kenai now. Um, and yeah, I mean, we basically wanted to make a holster that uh, you could carry with a backpack. So it's got a nice wide strap and it moves any potential areas for rubbing out of the way of that backpack, both in the strap area and also in the back panel. Um, and then we wanted to sit high enough where it wouldn't impede uh, a pack waist belt. And also if you're wearing waders, would sit up high enough where you could actually access your firearm. Because what we found with uh, trying out some of the leather guide holsters and the nylon guide holsters, they position the firearm down here, and that works really great for a hunting application um, if you're carrying binoculars or something like that. Not to say the Kenai doesn't, but uh, for fishing and for backpacking, mountain biking, more active mobile sports, having the gun down there ends up being a little bit irritating, ends up flopping around, and also ends up um, just getting in the way of things, uh, like like I said, waist belts and things like that. Yeah. So, 
Um, and as the name implies, Kenai, it seems to be pretty popular with guys in Alaska yep, de- fishing the Kenai River. Definitely really popular with guys in Alaska. Um, you know, the, the owner of the company, Adam, uh, grew up in Alaska, so we kind of drew from that and also drew from the intended purpose yeah. uh, in naming it. So, yeah. Do so you guys make one for the Smith & Wesson 500? We do, yeah. So, I mean, any of the, the large caliber revolvers out there, uh, you know, probably one of our best sellers is the Super Red Hawk and 454 Casol. Yeah. Uh, but also, yeah, that, that 500, we sell quite a few. So. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Um, so then, this just this last year, you guys released the Spectre, yep. which is taking off from the popularity of you know the straps that you have here and moving it on to a much more kind of sleek, professional, almost like tactical aspect. Right. So, so the Kenai is very, very much uh, you know you have that gun on your chest and you're definitely stating to the world you're large and in charge and you got the firearm and don't mess with me. You know, uh, the Spectre we wanted it. Twofold. First of all, people who are doing dedicated concealed carry under a jacket or something like that, or uh, someone who's hunting or fishing or something like that and wanted just an ability to carry that gun just a little bit more discreetly. So um, basically, what we worked up was uh, taking some of the the aspects of traditional shoulder holster design and then taking some of the aspects that we've learned on the Kenai and kind of fusing them together. We're, we're using a, a different style of buckle. It's actually got a swivel in it. Um, and what that allows is not only uh, more comfort when you're wearing that, that holster, uh, you know, it flexes with your body and moves around quite easily. Um, the other thing is it makes it really modular. So say, you know, we've got all kinds of different options. So if you want to carry two pistols, you easily can. If you want to carry a pistol and a pistol mag pouch or a double pistol mag pouch, you can. Or, you know, we did, recently did some um, one-offs for, for somebody uh, for the... AR-15s and things like that. It was just two AR-15 magazines for you know, uh, that kind of stuff. So there's lots of there's lots of flexibility in the harness design, and then we can basically anything you want. We can we can build a holster that matches with it. So right. Yep. If you had a more of a primary and a backup, you could have the smaller pistol on the side, or if you had a threaded barrel, you could have the suppressor on one side. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So I mean, the sky's the limit, and it's fully modular. So you know, once you get kind of invest in the system to start, you can buy additional component, components from us rather cheaply and, you know, depending on what you're doing or what your day-to-day looks like, you can easily, you know, kind of swap that stuff out and run something different. So, yeah. I really like that you guys, especially for someone who might be disabled or have flex or ergonomic disabilities as far as the range of motion, both the Kenai and the Spectre can facilitate them because you can unsnap, fit it over and then snap without having to reach behind your back or, you know, yep. limit yourself. Absolutely, yeah. We've actually had, a, we had a, a, a podcast, or I can't remember, I can't remember what uh, radio show, but a, another radio show, um, he actually was checking out the key night from us because he had, uh, had a knee surgery, I think, and was using crutches and couldn't access his firearm in traditional hip location, so that worked for him. We've also had several guys who are wheelchair bound, you know, due to injuries or whatever, and they really like the Kenai because obviously, you know, having a firearm on your hip in a wheelchair all day gets uncomfortable. It's difficult to draw. Whereas that Kenai under a light button down on a smaller firearm, say a, you know, Glock 43, something like that, actually conceals really, really well, and you know, ends up being a viable option for people like that. So, excellent. Yeah. Well, fantastic products. Thank you for taking the time with me today. Thanks, Ryan. You guys check out Gunfighters Inc. for some really awesome, innovative holsters, and. Yeah, you can. Yeah, pop over on our website, gunfightersinc.com, if you want to learn more. This has been a production of the Firearms Radio Network. You can find more information at firearmsradio.tv.